Um, we know it's definitely tough when on the road, you know, especially in this league where most teams play better at home. And, um, you know, we, we just talked about being focused, locked in, um, and we got to come ready to fight every road, every road game, you know. Um, it's tough, but we, I felt like our guys were prepared enough um, to come on and fight and get that record. You guys got up 21, obviously, there early and kind of let them back in and got as close as seven. Uh, I feel like you guys maybe took the foot off the gas. Did Uh, I think they just uh, kind of just um, turned it up a notch, and we we kind of got on our heels a little bit. We just had to uh, weather the storm. We we start missing some shots, and they start making some, and the crowd got into it, got on their got on their back, and they uh, kind of just fed off the energy. We kind of got on our heels, and um, I think one of the biggest shots of the game was when Mac just hit that hit that. Uh, I think Dean got the rebound push. Uh, mm -hmm. I kicked it to Mike. Mike drove, hit Mac for the free throw line uh, jumper. To just just to, just to, that was our first basket. I feel like in a, in a while, so. Um, that was a big bash just to weather the storm and get us back rolling. How good did it feel for you to hit some shots? You've been struggling the last two games to get in the fall. It was good, man. You know, I've just been working, man, uh, getting put in the right spots. Coach called my number a few times late in the game, and um, I was just able to uh, execute. Cam, you haven't had to go one game at a time all season long, but now there's just one left and it's for the conference title. How rewarding is that to be in that spot? Uh, it's very rewarding. Um, but the thing we talk about is not being satisfied, and we talked about that the whole year. Um, we pretty much been in first. And um, we couldn't get comfortable with that because we knew that teams were going to fight to get us out of that position. And, um, you know, if we take care of business Saturday, then it's, it's ours. So uh, we've got to prepare for that because they're going to come ready to fight too. And, um, you know, it, 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 it'll be real, real lovely to get that. Cam, I know you're probably not satisfied with your overall shooting performance, but it just seemed like the plays you made came at key times, I mean, the end of the half, three-pointer, and then when they drew within seven, you mm -hmm. fouled, you know, all three threes. How would you just describe your performance? Um, you know, uh, I felt like I was aggressive. Um, came out aggressive, um, attacking the lane. Shots didn't fall, shots didn't fall, but being aggressive always makes the defense hold you accountable. You know, um, I mean, makes you always hold the defense accountable for that. And uh, you know, my teammates put me in the right spots. Uh, got me the ball when I was open. You know, so credit to them for that. And I just made plays. Can you take us through that end of the half three pointer? <laughs> Um, well, the play was actually supposed to be for Dean, um, but they doubled Dean, of course, at the top of the key, so I just stepped in and, and he saw that I was open. Barry, what went into the defensive performance tonight? It seemed like you had them taking bad shots pretty much from the start. Uh, we all just uh, knew, kind of knew what they were going to do, man. We we scouted. Coach, Coach Brad Corn had the scout, and uh, we just, we just kind of knew them, knew, knew their, their sets, and knew what they liked to do. Uh, a lot of seam ball, a lot of seam ball screens, a lot of seam slips. Uh, for seam drives and a lot of back doors and um, things of that nature and, and penetrating passing uh, for for corner threes and wing threes and stuff like that. So we just kind of knew what they were, what they um, wanted to do. So we were just able to be there and be in the right spots and kind of take it away. Um, I, might, I think I might have put it on the floor. I mean, I knew, I knew as, as soon as I, as soon as he got the steal and it was two on one, I knew it was going to be a lob. Like it was, it was no doubt in my mind. Um, we we kind of do that in practice a lot, uh, three on two, two on one, and and that was just kind of that situation where it's two on one, and, and also it was a smaller guy, a guard was Robinson back, and so um, I knew it just put it put it up in the air. He couldn't he couldn't jump with him, so that's what happened. Um, just to make him make tough shots. You know, take contested shots, and uh, you know he's a real good player, real good shooter. And um, you got to be on, you got to be in his space on the catch. You know, so he doesn't get any open look. Cam, it seems like so much. You know, we asked you about your shooting or, or you kind of being the primary ball handler, kind of key assist guy. How much pride do you take in your rebounding? This is your like fourth game this year, and you got more than five. Um, you know, our, our coach has been real big on big on that. You know, especially been in my ear because uh, when. Teams take three, a lot of threes, you know, that ball bounces long. And, um, you know, it's the guards job to come back and get those long rebounds. And it helps out bigs as well because they don't have to work as hard. You know, they can get their inside position, but it's our job to get those loose ones. Barry, you kind of struggled to score the last couple of games and had four in the first half. This one gets 12 in the second half. Was that intentionally trying to take it over or did it just come to you the second 
Uh, man, I just came, man. I just wanted to, uh, like I said, coach called my number um, late in the game, and I was trying to execute. I hit a couple pull-ups um, as the game went on and kind of just felt felt a good rhythm. And so um, I just hit a, was able, to hit, able to hit a few more and uh, open, up the, open up the scoreboard. Uh, it'll, it'll be a big a big game, man, because you know everyone's worried about the uh, championship and all this stuff and this and that, and it's going to be senior night, so emotions going to be high. But um, it's just important just to play that game like a regular game, man. We, they're, they're, This league is a, a league of adjustments. We played them before. We beat them at home. Um, but they're not just going to come in and, and Brownlee's and lay down. So uh, it's, it's going to be a tough game, uh, good team, physical, switch a lot of, switch a lot of things. And um, we just got to execute and uh, stay, stay disciplined. Uh, no, I don't know. Tech one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. At home. Bear, expected. Bear, what does it mean, I guess, for, for you guys to be in a position to literally control your own destiny for a Big 12 championship? I mean, you don't have to sit here and watch, you know, oh, if this team loses, then we can win at it. It's just pretty simple. You win and you get it. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's good, man, but, you know, it's, it's not over. We got, like I said, we got a, a tough team coming in Bramlage uh, Saturday. Um, that's not just going to hand us a victory. Um, I mean, it's going to be a, a tough grind at our game, but I'm, I'm glad that we all put ourselves in a position to, uh, um, like you said, control our own destiny and, and, and do the right things on, on the floor to uh, be able to get a championship.